Hey, everybody. If you don't know me, my name is Mike. I'm the pastor here at Christ Community. Um, thank you for checking out our website and um, getting to know us a little bit better. We hope that you'll join us at, at 1030 on Sunday morning. We live stream our service every week, uh, but we also gather here uh, on Liberty Mills Road. And uh, we hope that you'll join us on Sunday uh, as we worship and we praise the Lord our God. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what you can expect when you come into uh, this building over the summer of 2021. We are going to be in a sermon series uh, that is called Jesus is Everything. Jesus is everything. And we believe that with all of our hearts. We believe that one of our core convictions is that, that God has, has created us to be a people who are centered on Jesus. And so we want to lean into that this summer. And we're going to do that by first exploring how it is that Jesus receives sinners. We're going to spend uh, the month of June really looking at that. And then for the rest of the summer, we're going to talk about what it means to be with Jesus. We're going to talk about spiritual disciplines. We're going to talk about fellowship. We're going to talk about uh, baptism. We're going to talk about all sorts of things. It's going to be a wonderful summer, and we hope that you'll join us. Jesus will change your life. He's changed mine, and he continues to change all of our lives here. God's doing great things here, and we hope that you'll join us for that. Um, as we are, are in this particular season of the COVID pandemic, there's just a few things. Our consistory, who, are, who is our church leadership board, they have decided to make some adjustments to the protocols that we have, given the state of things around uh, the COVID pandemic in the United States. So, um, we are, we, one of those things that we're going to be doing is we are no longer going to be requiring a physical distancing uh, requirement when we are seated here in the sanctuary. If, so we had, the way we had been doing it is, is you'd come in and you'd sit, each household could sit together, but then we'd ask that there'd be three seats in between households. We're not going to do that anymore. Um, we think that we're at a place where we can safely allow people to be closer than that now. But um, if you are still uncomfortable with being really near people, that's okay. We have plenty of space, and you'll be able to, you'll be able to sit with a little bit of distance, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, we want you here. We want to provide a safe, welcoming place for you and, so, and your whole family. So, so please, please join us. Um, now, for the first few weeks of the summer, at the very least, the, the consistory is encouraging the congregation to continue wearing masks as we worship. Uh, that has, has two purposes. One is, is it allows us to kind of ease into, uh, ease back into some normalcy because we are now not requiring the physical distancing. Um, but also, we recognize that not everybody has been vaccinated, and we want to make sure that we, uh, again, we're providing a safe, welcoming place for everyone who comes to worship. The, our whole intent throughout this entire crisis has been that we first love our neighbor, and so we're going to continue to do, to do that in the best way that we can, given the best information that we have. Um, you will notice that the, the worship team uh, will we'll be singing without masks now. We've, we've set uh, a fair amount of distance between them and, the, and you as you're seated here, so we think we can do that safely. And also, um, but as you come in, you'll notice that greeters will continue wearing masks and um, will continue to take great care with your health and your safety as you come in and out of this building. We are going to, starting June 13th, we're going to open up our nursery again for ages three months to four years old. Um, and our nursery volunteers will be, wearing, uh, will be wearing PPE, probably masks. And um, they, will be, uh, just, they will be prepared to, to provide a safe uh, environment for your child when you come to worship here. So we hope that you do. Again, that's ages three months 
to four years old. If you have older kids, we ask that they stay out of the nursery. The volunteers will probably have their hands full with infants and toddlers. So, um, so we thank you for, for abiding by that, by that age restriction. Um, just another note on, on children's ministry. We, we intend to launch our children's ministry uh, fully again at the end of August when our volunteers are ready and when we have the space ready again. And um, so we, we can't wait for that. that, that ch- our children's ministry runs during our worship service. Uh, the children worship and talk about a lot of the same things that we, we talk about in here so that uh, you can, uh, you can m- minister to your children and you can have discussions at, with, as a family. Um, we are delighted to be able to bring that back after such a long time. So uh, look for that. That'll be at the end of the summer. And uh, as we go from week to week, you will also notice that our elders, including myself, uh, who have all been fully vaccinated, we will continue to wear masks and gloves as we distribute communion. Um, We want to be able to receive communion uh, and prepare communion for you in healthy, safe ways as as we uh, hopefully reach the end of this pandemic. Um, but we will continue to act according to the best way we know how to love our neighbor. Um, we thank you that you are are looking at our website and you're checking us out. If you have any questions, please uh, just shoot us an email. You can you can find contact information all over the website. Um, we love you. The Lord loves you. Please join us and, and let the Lord Jesus turn your world upside down just like he has for us. Have a great summer.